Greetings, lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Weenies. Today's weenie is the waffle dog. Not too long ago, I did a magnificent corn dog recipe that involves covering the whole corn dog with crinkle cut fries. If you've missed that recipe, I should put it up here along with the weenies playlist. And so I thought, why not try doing this with waffle batter and see what happens. So at the moment, this is my favorite waffle batter recipe I got from the kitchen years ago. And the reason why I like this so much is that it contains yeast, so it has a really great, complex, tasty flavor to it. You prepare the batter the night before, and then the next day you add a couple eggs and some baking powder, and you get this really, really delicious batter. First, you combine the yeast and water in a large bowl and let that kind of bubble up. To that, we're gonna add our melted butter, our milk, salt, and sugar, and whip that up really well. Next, we're going to add our flour until it makes a thick and really kind of shaggy dough. At this point, we're gonna cover it with plastic and let it sit on the counter overnight. And then the next morning, when you're ready to make your waffles, you're gonna add your eggs and your baking powder. This recipe is huge, it makes a ton of waffles. I either have it or I make the whole recipe and then I put them up in the freezer. They freeze really well and then you just pop them into the toaster whenever you want. Yummy, yummy waffles. Okay, so let's get on with the hot dog experiment. <laughs> so next we have our hot dogs, I've cut them in half. I have a couple of theories that I'd like to test. So some of these I've just cut in half, the others I've cut in half and halved once again to make them a little bit thinner. I'm gonna go ahead and do this a la corn dog style and impale these on a skewer. I think it'll be easier to eat that way. Cook our hot dogs a bit by placing them on the griddle. Close that up and let them fry up a bit. Okay, be right back. So let's check on our dogs. So these ones in the back here, I think are ready. Flip these ones over, give them a couple more seconds. I think my hot dogs are thoroughly warmed up. So I'm gonna remove those. So it's probably good insurance just to spray your waffle iron with a little bit of nonstick spray, but mine's all seasoned and ready to go. Plus there's a lot of butter in this batter already. So I'm gonna put some batter in. So I'm gonna do two different variants because I have two different theories about how this might work. So the ones in back, I'm going to add hot dogs like this, kind of press them into the batter. Then we're gonna top it with a little extra batter. Now, I think there's gonna be some oozing, so I put a cutting board beneath this to hopefully catch some of the spills. This is definitely going to run it over. Okay, close that up. Nice sizzle. All right, we're gonna let that go for a little while. So my theory for the bottom was I'm gonna to try to roll the hot dog into this and see how that works. It may not work at all, but we shall see. Smells so good. I wish I had smell vision for you. It smells yeasty and meaty. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a very good description, actually. <laughs> it smells yeasty like freshly cooked bread, and it smells like meaty, like grilled hot dogs, like summertime. It's a nice combination. This has been a great investment for me. I bought this at a thrift store in Portland, Oregon, years and years and years ago. I think I actually got it at the bins. So I think I, I paid almost nothing for it. And it's been great. Okay, let's, let's give that a little peek. Oh yes, that is looking great. But for this one, what I'm gonna do, see, yeah. So while this is hot, I had this theory that I could maybe roll this hot dog in here like this. Let's try it with this one. Not trying to, I don't want to burn my fingers. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Probably should use tongs. Where are my tongs? These are too big. Okay. Oh. Kind of give them a squinch. We'll press it just a little bit to kind of hold things together a little bit and make sure that the waffle is well cooked. Okay, give that a flip. Beautiful, cut that in half and cut these in half. Nice and crisp, oh yes. I'm so happy about how these turned out. 
So this one does have some structural integrity issues. Maybe if I used a thinner dog, this would wrap around better. I think also if the batter was a little less cooked in the middle, it would stick to the hot dog better, but I want to make sure the waffle is completely cooked. This one, on the other hand, I think works better in terms of design. It doesn't look as iconic as this one. This one looks more like a corn dog, hot dog on a stick than this one, but this one has much more structural integrity. I'm gonna have a little bit of maple syrup. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. That is a good waffle. But the yeast in this recipe is really what does it for me. It makes a really complex and tasty, tasty waffle. I definitely suggest using the full amount of salt. It totally works in this recipe. Delicious, especially with this much syrup. So that first bite was just waffle and syrup. I'm gonna push my hot dog a bit so I can have another bite with the hot dog. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This actually reminds me a lot of breakfast, like when you have your sausage and your pancakes and syrup and everything kind of mixes on your plate. And then you kind of alternate between sweet and salty, sweet and salty. Let's try the other version, the little flatter one. See that one is. Mm -hmm. I think this one works better. Kind of maintain the integrity of the crispness of the waffle and the texture of the waffle. Let me take another bite with a hot dog. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Mm-hmm. Also, the proportion of hot dog relative to waffle, I think works better in this case. All right, I'm gonna try it with a little bit of ketchup next. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now that little change transforms this into a corn dog. Granted, you don't have the corn, and granted, you don't have that deep fried flavor and aroma that comes with the deep frying process. But because there's a stick, and there's a hot dog, and there's some batter and ketchup, this becomes something very, very, very familiar. <laughs> Delicious. So the next time you make homemade waffles, why don't you throw a couple hot dogs on too and see what happens. Be sure to like this video so I know you like this series. Leave me a comment if there's a specific weenie recipe you'd like to see. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends and follow me on social media. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. We represent the lollipop kids.